Hello. Okay, I have a question with me here. This question was sent to me by uh, Tisha from uh, Chirundu Boda. All right, so Tisha, on how to answer this question, you can use the formula. There are basically two formulas, but uh, I will show you the two methods. And you choose the one you think you can uh, easily work with. So the first one is the one I'm writing here. All right, so this is uh, volume is equal to one third multiplied by area one plus area two plus the root of area one multiplied by area two uh, multiplied by height there. Hopefully you're able to see. All right, so our area one will be the area of this part over here. This square down. So we'll say the area of a square is L squared. So L squared will be 4 squared, which is equal to 16. So our area sub 1 is equal to 16. All right, so we have found area sub 1. We can also find area sub 2. So for area sub 2, we use this square on top. So it will be equal to 10 squared, which is equal to 100. Okay. So our area 2 is equal to 100. So since we have found these values, we can plug them in our formula. Okay. Our height, we know height is 9 centimeters. So volume is equal to 1 third, open bracket. Area 1 is 16 plus area 200 plus the multiplication of area 1, 16 times 100 uh, close times height, which is 9, 9, uh, 9. Okay, so we can... Uh, Divide by 3, 3 into 9, it's a 3. So we, we add here, we have, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, 116, 16 plus, uh, 16 plus uh, 100, so 116. We multiply here, 16 by 100, we have uh, 16 or 1000. 600 multiply by 3 so we can now find the root of uh, we can find the root of uh, 1600 so the root of 1600 over here will be will be 40 times 3 there the next thing will be to add what is inside the brackets, which is 116 plus 40. So we have uh, 156. 156 times 3. So 156 times 3, our answer will be 468 centimeter cubed because we are looking or we are calculating the volume all right so let me show you the other method this is the first method the other method on how to solve this you you get your first term we know this is the first term you get it and uh, pretend it's finished down here it's finished so this is where it has been cut okay and the distance from here to here is see, nine centimeters okay this side is see, 10 centimeters the length of the top part and then where it has been cut the length is see, four centimeters so now you say uh, this side from where it has been cut to 
or the part, the height of the part which has been cut from the first term. We don't know. We we'll say it's x. So we need to find the value of x. We we'll say uh, uh, we we'll say four over ten. Okay, is equal to we get x. We don't know over x plus nine or nine plus x. So we can solve for x here. We we can cross multiply. It will be four nine. Or 4 multiplied by 9, 8, uh, 9 plus x, which is equal to uh, 10 multiplied by x. So here of the 6 plus uh, 4x is equal to 10x. We can uh, group the like terms. So it will look like this. After grouping the like terms, we can solve here of... Uh, 6x divided by 6x divided by 6x. Now the value of x is equal to 6, 6 into 36. Thank you. We have found the value of x. But uh, since we have found the value of x, which is 6, we'll put it here. 6 over here. Alright, so from... Uh, or at this point, we we'll find the volume of the finished first term, which is volume is equal to 1 over 3 uh, uh, area area of the base, which is L, uh, L squared uh, times height. So here, our we are we are working on the on the bigger pyramid so our base here or the, the the length of the base want to find the area of the base will be 10 squared here times the height the height from here to here will be 10, 10 I mean 9 plus uh, plus 6 which is 15 so 3 can go into 15 how many times 5 times okay uh, 9 uh, 10 squared is equal to 100 times 5 is equal to 500. So volume of the bigger pyramid is 500. So the next step, let's write 500 here, 500 uh, centimeter cubed. This is a volume of the finished the pyramid, uh, the full pyramid or the complete pyramid without being chopped. So next, we find the pyramid of the chopped part, the top part, I mean the down part here, which has been chopped. So the same formula will apply. The length now will be 4 squared times height will be 6. From here to here is 6. So 3 into 6 is say, 2. Here it's 4 squared is 16 times 2. The volume of the chopped part is uh, 32 centimeter cubed. So now finally we'll say 500 or we'll just say volume 1. Volume 1 will say it's the, for the bigger pyramid or for the finished pyramid. And then volume 2, the smaller or the chopped pyramid. So it will be, or well, the chopped part of the pyramid, it will be 500, this one, minus 32, which is equal to 468. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. Let me put you. Uh, the units here. So this is the f volume of the pyramid. Thank you very much for watching.